I am very, very nervous, but also very excited. Uh, we put a lot of work into this and all of our friends and family are gonna be here, so I'm, I'm stoked. Jonathan is all around perfect. He's smart, he's funny, he's handsome, very, very handsome. Um, he's my special person, he's my counterpart. He's absolutely wonderful in every way. I couldn't have picked anyone else. Having the kids is a main part of our relationship. I, even if I hated him, I'm sticking around for the kids. Like, I love them, they're my babies. They're absolutely wonderful. They have such special personalities and they love me too. And that's, I'm not gonna be able to make it through my vows. <laughs> I, I have to write them down. <laughs> We did it once. My father walked me down the aisle in Vegas when we got married the first time, March 2nd. But it was only like three steps. Um, and that made me weep too, just having him there. He's, he's my best friend. Jonathan's second, but my dad is my best friend. I know that my mother will be there watching me. And I know at the first glance, I'm gonna look over at her and see her crying, and it's gonna make me weep more. It's, it's important that she's there, and I'm very, very grateful that she's gonna be there. We've been waiting for this day for a very, very long time. We're excited and nervous and stressed, but it's gonna be wonderful having a sea of family and friends in front of us, and I can't wait for it to start. I also can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> This is what weddings are all about. This is getting family together, friends together, and seeing each other dressed to the nines, her gorgeous self in that beautiful white dress. Like I'm super excited for that moment to see her coming truly down an aisle to come take my hand for the rest of our lives. It's a special bond, friendship, loving. We get each other's crap. She never gets tired of me. She never tells me I'm annoying, uh, which I've heard once or twice. <laughs> she. Uh, she doesn't question me when I start to drive somewhere and she doesn't know where we're going. She just trusts me and she loves being with me and I can truly see that in her. Like, and I love being with her because she lets me be me and I've never felt myself like this before in my entire life. And now to finally find that, I had to. I had to take this woman and make her my own forever because I know that she'll continue to be this way forever and ever. My father's always there for us. He's, he's a hard pill to swallow and he can be uh, quite challenging sometimes, but there's never any doubt that if you call him up and you need something, he's there in a heartbeat. And he's been the same way for Elise. She loves him and, uh, and I love my dad. I love everything that he's done for me and that he continues to do. So it, you know, it worked out really well to have him by my side. So he will be standing next to me at that altar. Having my mom there makes me feel that I've made her proud. She's seeing her son go into good, loving hands. Hands that she trusts, that she loves, and that she's always pictured me being with. I think that Elise sees me like Rose from Titanic when they're unloading all of her luggage and they're thinking, what the heck, you know? <laughs> There's trucks and trucks of luggage. And she just takes it like, like a grain of salt, like no big deal. She makes the best bonus mom. And that was the, the nail in the coffin where I was like, this woman has to be mine forever because you know, it's great to be great with kids at one point and everything, but the way that she interacts, the patience that she has, the correctness that she does to me when I'm being overly anything, and that's only the love of a mother. And though they're not hers, you wouldn't have any idea. You would, you would not even know that those aren't her children. And when I see her with every day with Alabama, raising her, homeschooling her, taking care of her, if I have something come up with work or I have a trip or something, she's, don't worry about it, you know, I've got it. I never feel guilty for her having the kids and she makes me feel that way. Because otherwise I've always felt that way, but not with Elise. I have just been smile from ear to ear since I walked through these doors of this house, this venue, waiting for my wife to arrive. I can't wait until that ceremony is over and we can finally be just together hanging out. I love that woman so much and I am just so stoked to just have all my family and friends and to be able to put this on for everybody and to do it with her. I can't wait. One moment that I can't wait for is for her and I to step back 
during this reception when everybody's having a great time and just hold each other and say, look at what we did. Look what we brought together and look how we did it.